the costs of care reflect an underperforming health system. We spend 18% of our GDP on health care and get no more value than countries that spend 7, 8, 10, 12% of their GDP on health care. So if we want to solve the cost problem, we have to do it by improving performance, by getting more value for every dollar we invest. The alternative is to accept the reality of our current system's performance and just start paying less. And how do you pay less? Well, you increase the amount that consumers or patients have to pay. So you increase premiums, you increase coinsurance or deductibles. Uh, you reduce benefits. You cut out uh, certain kinds of procedures. You reduce mental health benefits. You reduce behavioral health benefits. A third way to reduce, to cut costs without improving performance is to make fewer people eligible for health care. All those I would put under the general category of rationing of care. But a much more humane, sustainable, and effective way is to make the health system work better. And an example of that is the Medicare Advantage program, which now uh, rewards uh, higher quality Medicare uh, managed care plans. Another example is from my own state of Massachusetts, a plan that has been used by the Blue Cross program, which provides a global payment for populations rather than a simple fee-for-service payment, and then also sets quality requirements. A third example is the so-called accountable care organization, which is much more new and less tested. But in principle says to the provider, if you save money and meet our quality targets, we'll share the savings with you. So let me give you an example of something that we did in, in my own uh, longtime home institution, the Mass General Hospital in Boston. Uh, we set up as part of a Medicare demonstration program a special way of caring for the highest cost, sickest patients. And the key thing there was we had an electronic health record, so we had very good data on those patients. And then we assigned care managers to primary care practices. And the job of those care managers was to coordinate the care of those very vulnerable, high-cost patients. And with the data that they had from the electronic health record about the state of care, where, the, where those patients were going, all the specialists they were seeing, all the places where they might be hospitalized, together with the um, investment in the care management by this care manager, uh, the result was reduced mortality by about 7 or 8 percent and reduced cost. So here you had fewer deaths for less money. That kind of opportunity is present throughout our healthcare system.